Hey guys, Jen here. I am making a men's soap. I've been out online for a while. So we're going to make tobacco and bay leaf. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do it just a smidgen different. I was looking at I got the new Vitaburst beads um, most of you guys know we are a wholesaler for crafters choice be scented and um, I got the new Vitaburst beads and I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add some in here or not I'm not sure I'm not sure We'll see. I'm not sure if a man would want Vitaburst beads in his soap, you know? Just saying. Eric's not here for me to ask. But I think I'm gonna do a tiger stripe. <laughs> Let's mix up our additives. I love all my additives in my soap and I don't add as much additives as other people some people add um, yogurt and all kinds of stuff I have three that I add and I just love them I'm gonna give this a little judge then we'll Divide off for colors. <laughs> and the main portion, I think I'm going to leave a cream color. And then I'm going to do brown and then chromium green oxide. I don't think that green color gets enough love sometimes. It's a wonderful green. Had to wipe these out. I washed them earlier from the last batch. And now, when you're doing a tiger stripe, you want your colors fairly even in proportion. Or when you get to the end, you'll have more of one color and not enough of another, which is not terrible. Um, you can do lots of things with um, Tiger Stripes. You can pour out a little portion and do a single color and it, and when you get towards like the middle of your pour, you can pour in your bonus color. And then it have just one line. Really pretty. But I am not going for that. This is such a gorgeous green. I'm going to do New Pennies, which is a copper color. You know, tobacco. not going to do these yet, so I'm going to try to keep it all the same. See how pretty that green is? Gorgeous! Okay. Now, we 
wash your hands stir now a tiger stripe is very similar to doing uh, a zebra or a tiger stripe zebra stripe however you want to call it it's very similar to doing a drop swirl other than that you don't pour from as high and you stay in one location you pour in the center of your mold always every time I, I normally always did my cool water soap in this design but it, my husband loves this fragrance so I wanted to restock this for him so I thought I would co-case this design in this soap now I'm going to use two of my be scented molds that will get really full which is fine now I'm going to start out with a layer in the bottom now this is really thin may have to stick blend this let's see now you can go back and forth to get the thickness of the line you want I'm going to pour really slow because like I said this is really thin as it thickens up on me I may be able to pour a little bit quicker I'm going to go down and up boom as you see I'm shooting for the same spot right in the middle with every one of them nice and slow Well, this color is starting to set up which is a little bit better I need it a little thicker This is an oxide, it's why it's setting up more than the other two colors. But I just love it. See my brown starting to set up now. I like that consistency. I feel like you get a more defined line and you can pour it just a smidgen thicker. Now this one that has no, no collar, still pretty thin that's okay we're moving on See, now that it's a little bit thicker, I can just do one line, but it's okay. Do a little tap down. My green is really sitting up on me. It's okay. As long as I get it in there in a line. Down the middle. And 
this one is needing to be stirred as well. We're getting there. I'll only be able to do one more run and then we'll do the top. If it gets really thick, you can always scoop it and put it in your line. It does not have to be poured. Now, I could still pour this, but I'm just showing you guys. Alright, last of the brown for the design. And then we'll do the top. <laughs> Here, my dog. Okay. Beautiful. Super excited to see how this one turns out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish with this down the middle. We're going to do the other colors on the sides to finish it off. Do green on one side and the cream colored on the other. This smells awesome. I love this scent as well. We'll do a nice swirl on top to combine all the colors. Let's get this cleaned up some. Now, I think I'm going to do the figure eight and then I'm not sure if I'll do... I really like the figure eight for the tops of soaps. It's so pretty. I'm 
Yeah, I'll leave it at that. All right, guys, we'll bring you back for the cut. Hey guys, we are back. We're gonna cut the tobacco soap. And see right here is a soap that's got some soda ash on the top. And I'm not really concerned with it. Doesn't really bother me, but if it does bother you, you certainly can rinse the top of your soap off and it will get rid of the soda ash. Just run it under the sink and um, it'll fix it. How cute. But when you run it under your sink and get it all wet, let it dry before you um, unmold it is what I would do. Run it into the sink, get it wet, rinse all the soda ash off, and then let it dry. And then you can unmold it. One of those, I did not cut any in slices for samples, but I will on this one. Turned out super cute. Some nice stripes going on. Now, if it would have stayed a little bit more fluid, my stripes would have been a little bit better, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna cut our end slices here for samples. And that's that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.